Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. So I'm with the Tour Down Under Stage 3 2018. And I'm here with Daniel from BMC Racing. And what we're going to look at is one of their hydration cooling vests that they're using here uh, at the Tour Down Under. So we're going to explain a little bit of kind of what it looks like and what the use is and kind of what the, the purpose is. Now keep in mind, the day today is going to be really damn hot. Uh, 41 degrees Celsius, that's 106 degrees Fahrenheit is a scheduled high. Um, so they've even shortened stage a little bit to account for that. Uh, so cooling is going to be paramount to to success here today. Um, so, so what have you got here right now? Uh, yeah, so I'll just grab it out of the, the cooler. So what we have is basically a, a vest, but it's actually a, a hydration system um, within the vest. So we have a, a normal sort of TPU plastic in there that covers around the whole vest. So, and we freeze then the, the, the fluid that the guys want to consume. And we can use that then as a, as a cooling vest, uh, as well as a hydration uh, vest at the same time. This allows us basically to meet two objectives at once in terms of getting internal and cooling through uh, the ingestion of a, of a cold fluid and also external cooling by use of the actual cooling belts itself. So it's a, it's a strategy now we're working on to actually use uh, within events rather than primarily just before events. So down here at the Tour, you're primarily using it ahead of the event, right? Correct, not in actually in the race itself? Yes, this is kind of our first test run at events, so we're using it primarily just pre-race. Um, just to, to prove the concept, to make sure we uh, iron out any of the kinks, and they'll be looking later in the year to use it actually w within race uh, for, for some of the hotter races then in, in the European season. So what a point here, it's about uh, 33 minutes before the start of the race. Do you expect the guys to start putting them on in the next little bit here? or? Yeah, absolutely, we'll get them on probably about 25 minutes before the start. Um, because we're having a little difficulties getting them fully frozen, they've got about 20 minute uh, lifespan, so we'll get them to wear them until about 5 minutes before the, the actual start. Um, and give enough time to take them off and then and then head up to the start itself. And how heavy are the vests? So the vests itself only weigh about 350 grams, but then they have a, a fluid capacity of about two two liters. So when they're fully fully uh, loaded and frozen, they're about 2.3 2.4 kilograms. Okay. You mentioned that the goal here is pre-race, but down the road is to get to being during race. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. Uh, so we're really looking to develop a strategy that's able to be used during an event. So most of all the cooling work that's been done in the, in the four has been focusing on, on pre-race, um, a little bit post-race, but we're really trying to look for a solution that has an internal uh, cooling and external cooling solution that we can use within a race that's still practical and feasible to, to use. And these simply slip over the existing jerseys, right? It's not, uh, not going underneath them. Yeah, absolutely. So they basically just go over the jersey, and that's because when they're in their frozen state, we really want to make sure that the guys are protected from, a, from an ice burn or anything like that, so it's nice to have a layer still. And then it's simple in terms of practical terms just to be able to use over the jersey. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, and uh, good luck to the team today. Thanks so much.